So normally when you say master degree, we say masters. We don't say master degree. We, I want to do my masters. Rather than saying I want to do a master degree, you must say I want to do my masters. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, so supposing you go for an interview, so you have got a habit of just you know touching your face. So just try not to do that. Uh, so uh, when, whenever you talk, if you get that uh, habit, even in casual talk, then uh, even in an interview or in an office situation, you will not do it. So whenever you talk, you try to avoid them. So you can just talk uh, normally. Properly, also the second R is silent. Properly. Properly. You can just say properly. No need of uh, that. Uh, you can actually think there is no R. When you're talking about properly, properly that's, that's enough. Yeah. Uh, he has been living in Canada from, from? 2000 or since 2000 or for uh, eight years. From, when you say from, you must say the since. year. From and since are the same. From and since have the same meaning. He has been living in Canada from 2000, uh, 2000 or he has been in Canada since 2000. Both are same. You can use since or from. If you are using for, he has been living in Canada for 20 years or 18 years, something like that. So since and uh, what's the other word? From. from indicates a particular point in time. Since 2000. Since or from 2000. But when you say for, you say for 10 years or 20 years or whatever. You just write that down. Eh? Yeah. Which is the? All are correct. Don't want to recall uh, both of the sentences in the same point. I'm asking, since, if I use the since, don't want to use uh, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should not use. Yeah, okay. We should not use both. Either we want to use Either you use since, since or, or you use from. Don't use both. Okay. Gear boxes. Gear boxes. Okay. Say again, gear. 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 Ah, gear. gear boxes. Yeah. Gear. Once upon a time, he called me. Uh, around what you are. Once upon a time, we don't use. Okay. Once upon a time, you use only when telling stories. Oh. Okay. Eh? Say again. Uh, once he called. Once, once he called. Me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, how do you say asked? Asked. Uh, asked. You are saying asked. You should not use asked. A S K D. It is asked. Asked. Uh, the a sound, not a. Asked. He asked. asked. So learn from here. Now onwards. If you want, you can say that. Okay. Can able. Okay. He can learn. He, he is able. He is able. He is able. Or he can read. Okay. He is able to read. Or can and able should never be said together because they both, both are the same can and able have the same meaning so you should not say can and able together so uh, you must tell me first you must tell me if it is correct or if there is any mistake in it ok Surumaga is a very colourful village what do you say? A when you talk about a village you are saying a village you can't just say village. Surumuge is village, you cannot say. You may say it is a village. Surumuge, Urun Surumulya. Like that, you must say a village. Surumuge is a very colorful. Surumuge, Uru Aragana Uru. So we say, just like we say in Tamil, we say in English also, there should be an A. Okay, the climate. Okay, this A, the and Suli, there's one video. I put a video called the A and A. Uh, it has got three parts. Each part will be about, uh, I think, uh, 10 minutes or something. Uh, you, you read, you see that uh, video. It's a very important video. If you want to know English, you must know where to use the, where to use A, and where to use an. If you don't know these things, you will not be able to speak English. Uh, why it is difficult is because in Tamil there is no word for a, an, and the. Uru nurvatarke, 
that means one. Wonder means only one. Supposing you suddenly see uh, a dog. Eh? First time you're seeing a dog. So what will you say? I saw a dog. Okay, that's correct. I saw a dog. Supposing you see uh, uh, see elephant. What will you say? And elephant. You know the difference between those two. First I see a cat over there. Huh? Then I am telling, I saw a cat. Then the cat is running here. Then what will I say? Will I say a cat is running here? Or will I say the cat is running here? I will say the cat is running. When we are first seeing a thing, we will say a. Yeah. So that cat has already been introduced to us. Now it has become a particular cat. It has become a particular cat. We will say a particular cat. Uduvanov Purla Sulumbode, Yen Sulu, Aladi An Sul. Upper on the Aditha sentence of the Puchulumbode, Thirumu A cat in Sulubra. I saw a cat, a cat is running in Sunaka, second time sold on the bear or a cat Mari Arthavund. I saw a cat, the cat is running. So when you say, supposing I say, uh, Bike or bike will be in the bike, So, what do you say? Do you say a bike or the bike? The bike. The bike is not so. You are not a bike. You are a bike. You are a bike. You are a bike. You are a bike. You Supposing there is a bike there and we don't know whose it is. Somebody else's bike. It is not, does not belong to any of us. One bike is standing there. What do we say? A bike is there. A bike is there. If we know it, then we say the bike is there. Eh? So what is the is always about a particular thing. A and an are about common things. Eh? So this you must keep in mind while writing. So A, an and the will come almost in every sentence. Almost. Eh? A, an and the will always come in a sentence. You must know when to use it. Is okay. The climate in Rukhe. Climate ki a la di the word word ma. The word. So always the climate is good. Huh? All people working in handloom. Okay. All people ki a la di the word ma. People only na vurmeya parmeya. Panna varra yedukume evo ano use pannu. Yeah. Huh? Apo vande the people, the people naga anga ulla people pati pesano. Anar the people ni solna. Puduva people solna meigla. Puduva people solna people are walking in the road. Ani ipu inga vande kuri pitte namon shrumoye ro ulla makarapati pesano. Apo all the people.